Welcome to Pickleball Den, the technology powering the sport. In this video, we'll be giving an introduction to our Shootout Ladder League software. Before starting a shootout in Pickleball Den, you'll first need to create the shootout from one of the existing club signup sheets. Once the signup sheet has closed, you can select Play from your Club Manager menu and then choose Shootout and Create Shootout. Please note that you should only create a shootout once the signup sheet for this event has been closed to players. On the Create Shootout page, you'll need to select both the four player and five player match type using the drop down menus. You can also select how the software will move players up or down the ladder. Using the drop down menu, you can select that the top two players will move up the ladder and the bottom two players will move down the ladder, or that the top player will move up the ladder and the bottom player will move down the ladder. In matches with five players, the middle ranked player will remain on the current step of the ladder. You'll also need to enter the starting court number and the number of courts available for play. With Pickleball Den Shootout software, players can check themselves in for play when they arrive at the courts. You can enter a custom check-in code that players will enter to check in for play. Pickleball Den does not recommend providing players with this check-in code prior to arriving at the courts. This would allow players to check in for play without being present at the courts for the shootout event. You can then select which pools will have five players. In the event that your shootout needs to have a pool with five players, selecting bottom up from the drop-down menu means that the bottom pool of players will have five players. Selecting top down from the drop down menu means that the top pool will have five players. You will then need to use the drop down menu to select the appropriate signup sheet for this shootout event. This allows Pickleball Den to automatically merge this signup sheet and the players who have registered for this event. You also have the option to select the play format and team type using the drop down menus. After customizing the information for this shootout, you can create the event by selecting the black Create Shootout button at the bottom of the page. When players log into their Pickleball Den account, they'll be prompted to enter the self-check-in code. After entering the code, players will automatically be checked in for the shootout. From this page, players can also add their phone number to receive text messages from Pickleball Den, enter scores, view their bracket, view other brackets, and view all the games in the shootout. Club managers viewing the check-in page will be able to see which players have checked in for play. If you need to manually check in a player for the shootout, simply click the box beside their name. To check in all players at once, you can select the check in all option from the top of the page. Pickleball Den will prompt you to confirm that all players have arrived at the courts and you wish to check in all players. You can select yes. If your club allows players who have not signed up for the event to join play, you can use the Add Player button at the top of the page to add a new player to this shootout. You'll simply search for that player's name and select Search. The player's name will automatically be added and they will automatically be checked in for play. If a player who has signed up for this event does not show up at the courts for play, simply leave the box beside their name unchecked. While Pickleball Den will automatically update each player's ladder step and ranking after each round of play, you as the club manager also have the option to manually set a ladder step for players. To adjust a player's ladder step, simply click in the gray box beside their name and enter the number of step. After checking in players for this shootout, you can then select Seed Players at the top of the page. Pickleball Den will prompt you to confirm that you wish to see this shootout. You can select Yes. If you make any changes before starting the event, you'll first need to reseed the players. Please note that once you start the shootout, you cannot add in a player who arrives late at the courts for play. After seeding the players, you can then select Start Event. Once the shootout has started, players will automatically receive important messages from Pickleball Den about what court they'll be playing on and the team that they'll be playing with. Players can select Enter Score from the Shootout Welcome page to enter scores themselves as they complete their matches. Pickleball Den prompts the player to confirm the winning team to help prevent error when entering scores. If there is an error when entering scores, club managers can easily fix this problem by selecting the appropriate pool of play and then choosing View Matches. Club managers can then click on the match where the error occurred and select Change Scores. After making any changes, be sure to click Submit and confirm the winning team. In addition to players entering their own scores for the matches or managers entering scores if necessary, 
clubs also have the option to designate other club members as court monitors. To learn more about designating club members as court monitors, please watch our club permissions video from our club manager playlist. As each match is completed and scores have been entered, Pickleball Den will automatically notify players of their next match. If at any time a player needs to return to the shootout page, they can select list play events from their club player menu. They can then find the appropriate shootout event and select view event. If at any point during play, you need to return to the shootout manager menu, you can select play from your club manager menu, then choose shootout and join active shootout. From this same menu, club managers also have the option to instead select list shootouts. You can then select the appropriate shootout from the list of options and choose view event. As each pool of play continues to enter scores, the stats for this shootout will dynamically update. After all matches are complete and all scores have been entered, the shootout will automatically end. To start a second round of play for the same shootout event, you'll repeat the process of selecting play from your club manager menu and then choosing shootout and create shootout. Instead of creating and starting the shootout from your club manager menu, you instead have the option to select create shootout when viewing the shootout signup sheet. You can then confirm that the information for this shootout is correct, making sure to merge the correct signup sheet, and then select create shootout at the bottom of the page. Now that the stats and ranking have been automatically updated by Pickleball Den, each player has an updated ladder step for this round of the shootout. If this is a second round of play for the same shootout event, you can manually check in all players. If a player is not able to participate in round two of play, you can click the check mark beside their name to remove them from the shootout. After checking in the players, you can select seed players and then select start event to start the second round of this shootout. To learn more and to continue setting up a shootout in Pickleball Den, please watch the next video in our shootout playlist.